This is Caitlin Campbell, and I doubt we'll ever see another comment section nearly as brutal as hers. She gets called Heavy Potter, Lesbian Peter Griffin, uh -huh. and White Kim Jong-un. Although if you're familiar with Caitlin Campbell's content, you might argue that she really doesn't deserve it. Her videos focus on the uncontroversial topic of coffee, initially posting tutorials on how to make certain types or use specific pieces of gear. My goal on TikTok is to help you brew the best coffee you possibly can at home. Since she was also okay. promoting her own product called Street Brew, Caitlin added videos talking about how she ran her business. Welcome to the day in the life of a 29 year old small business owner who makes coffee for a living. And while this was already hard enough to manage. Running a small business, running any kind of business is tough. There are going to be bad days. There are going to be bad seasons. There are going to be days you want to throw in the towel. There was another thing making yeah. it even harder. From the moment I started posting on TikTok, I was met with hate and trolls and negative comments. Like, Really? The this is just the way it is with anything. Why is that guy saying really as if that's a fucking surprise was his first day on the fucking internet what is this yeah obviously she's overweight so people are gonna call her fat like what are you sugarcoating pussyfooting around for like that's just the way it is if there's something wrong with you people on the internet will remind you that that is the case if you're balding people will tell you that if your nose is too big you'll be reminded if you're fat they'll say that you're fat that's the way it is and it doesn't matter like excuse you like Think about anything, anything that's wrong with a person, like whether it's a mole on their face, whether it's anything, people, a lazy eye. Mo when I started posting. You're like, here's some coffee. <laughs> yeah. And, and just like, like destroy. Yeah. On an early video encouraging people to open their own business, Caitlin received comments such as maybe start a gym. Well, or of see course, people are going to take this profession. They're going to take this personally because she's encouraging people to take ownership and accountability for their own life and improve it. And like, of course, people don't want to hear that. They want to hear that every problem that they have is because of their parents or the government or another race of people. It's because of black and people. All you do people. is roast coffee. That's beans. the reason. Calm down. Or women. This understandably began to hurt her feelings. It definitely, like, really bothered me because, yeah, like, in course. real life, people aren't jerks like that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this is a very important point to make. So much that Caitlin yeah. felt the need to reply to the negative comments. Building a community. Yeah, you started it all. Never claimed I started it all. How can you be good at coffee? The same way you can be good at anything else. Practice and make. What do you mean? How can you be good at coffee? Like, couldn't you just? I mean, like, there's, there's got to be like a way to be good at coffee because if there wasn't then there wouldn't be like companies that sell what, what are you talking coffee's a skill i'm sure there's a spectrum of quality that exists with coffee yeah i mean is it is it as as large of a spectrum as playing a violin probably not but i'm sure there's some variables there Coffee. You're just making coffee. Everyone is good at making coffee. That's I crazy. beg to differ with the continual hate bringing Caitlyn to a crossroads. Uh -huh. You have two choices. Keep posting content and ignore the trolls, ignore the haters, and go out there and win. There was this one girl I saw on Instagram who would go out and review parking lots. Hi guys, because I don't have any hobbies, my new hobby is reviewing parking lots. And everybody loved her. What was the difference? She was hot. It's just the way it is. Or stop posting content and do something else. Rather yeah. than defending herself, Caitlin began embracing the elements that mm -hmm. made her page unique. How sure. I deal with the hate. I don't live and die by the comments. I'm not searching for validation from people who don't know me. And when asked if she could focus on the coffee and not inspirational speeches, Caitlin politely told the viewer that she'd keep doing whatever she wanted, which when done this eloquently mm -hmm. certainly adds to a person's charm. It's so funny to see people getting so triggered over somebody sharing stuff about their passion. We get it, you don't like coffee. Yeah. It honestly blows my mind. People get so triggered over coffee. Why are people getting so mad? It's literally just coffee. Say it louder for the people in the back. It's so the reason why they're triggered is because she's invested and engaged in something and she lives in a lifestyle that they don't think that she should be happy in. So whenever they see a person who's happy in a lifestyle that they disapprove of, it makes people mad because it makes, I think, a lot of them question internally what their value system really is built off of. Because if there's a person who's happy doing a thing that this person hates, 
why do you hate that thing? It doesn't make logical sense. It's so funny to see people get mad you like coffee. Everyone has hobbies, so what's wrong with coffee being one? It's crazy how triggered people get, although this failed to stop the rapidly increasing negative comments. Yeah, because they're calling her fat. I mean, like, what's really, is this really, I mean, I, 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 this is so crazy to me that, like, this is some kind of a fucking revelation that people are going to call you fat on the internet. Like, bro, d duh, like, god damn. Just simply Jeez, talking yes. about her daily coffee intake, viewers berated her by stating, How about you watch your calorie intake too? You eat two chocolate cakes a day though too, yeah? You don't look like you worry about intakes. I guess she mm. didn't really help herself by making lattes out of Fruit Loops, although the shirt she was wearing in the video revealed another reason she perhaps didn't deserve the hate. Caitlin explained that she began TikTok because she missed out on her dream job. So I got rejected from what I thought was like my dream job at the time. I used to be a pastor it was a, a very big pastoring job which was a role uh -huh. she'd been studying for over four years so i wanted to go into ministry that's what i went yeah. to school for i worked in ministry for four years and while being religious doesn't automatically make her better or moral no could... it does because people like the truth is that uh in our culture the predominant religion is uh is christianity so a lot of the people have had bad experiences with christianity and because of that, people, and also, like, let's be honest, it, and I think it's because it's not the dominant religion, it's much less socially acceptable to be critical or negative about Islam, about Hinduism, about, like, I mean, I don't know why the fuck you'd be negative about Buddhism, it's not even the same thing, but, uh, you know, any other religion. Uh, I, I think that absolutely, uh, you know, at least in the Western world, Christianity is kind of the predominant religion. Engl sorry, not Western, uh, English speaking. I'd say that somebody who dreams of being Didn't a you make a statement about how people won't like you if you're fat, and then Twitter and TikTok went off on you because the fat people there felt attacked? This is proof of what you're saying. Uh, I bet you'll still have people that disagree with you. Well, then that's why I never really need to defend this stuff, is because... Facts don't need to be defended. They can just be proven. And just the future will prove these things right. And so I don't need to go and like argue with somebody and fight and like claw this away from them to try to like prove them like, oh, no, I'm actually right. Just wait and see. Just wait and see. So, yeah, you've got a lot of people that have a lot of negative opinions about religion, especially Christianity. Because a lot of the people that are on Western-speaking Twitter, Western-speaking TikTok, their mom and their dad probably took away their toys because of Christianity. And that's the reason. Pasta might be slightly more ethical than the standard TikTok troll. Because Caitlin then revealed that 20% of her company's revenue goes to the homeless population in her oh, city. Oh, fuck. I mean, like, Mr. Beast did this. What a mistake. Which, if anything, led to a positive article titled Father-Daughter Duo Behind Street Brew Coffee Wants to Serve Up Real Change for Toronto's Homeless. Kaylin also managed to land a spot on breakfast television until her positive path was reversed by one single TikTok that created a whole new wave of hate. Making coffee is harder than your 9 to 5. Hear me out. First you have to weigh out your coffee to the exact gram, and then you have to get it ground up. It is exhausting turning this crank over and over again. Then after weighing out your water and getting it heated up, you have to pour it out in circular motions over and over and over again until you reach the goal weight. The whole process can take four to six plus minutes, depending on what brew method you're using, just pouring water over and over. Then finally, after all that hard work, you can enjoy the cup, but man, I'm exhausted. I need a nap. After her TikTok gained over two million views, Kayla was duetted that? by people working in manual labor oh my fucking god bro oh my fucking god this is the same shit that happened with hassan right remember that and like i defended him and people said the same thing about me and, and like yeah they just asked for it. yeah it, it's actually crazy that like there will always be these people that have like like they're waiting to trauma dump the moment that somebody says they have it hard you have these people that have, like, a fucking utility belt of problems, like they're Batman. And it's like, I have to wake up early. I only have one leg. 
and I had to walk to school and it was uphill both ways somehow. And it's like, oh my God, man, can anybody, it's like people that are like, they are like suffering to them as a competition. And if anybody is suffering in a way that they feel isn't valid, then they suddenly lose their mind. It, it's it's just I grew up in a box. Yeah, exactly. It's it's so obnoxious. I I hate people like this. The oppression Olympics, and also she was she was clearly joking. It's just a joke. Like it's not a big deal. Coffee is harder than your nine. Yeah. Which were captioned with titles such as uh -huh. So thankful I'm not making coffee anytime soon. Yeah. Honestly don't know how I'd manage. When a similar duet gained over 13,000 upvotes, duet. most people managed to realize that Caitlyn's video was satire. It's However, obvious. it seemed as though the backlash was exactly what she wanted. Like yeah, I'm just trying to engagement bait. That's my goal. Given a single negative tweet bashing Caitlyn would explode her mainstream presence. What is this phenotype? Nickelodeon and its consequences? I mean, it's just, this is about her her being fat. Like, that's it. It's just, that's all Presents. about it. The post featured a video of Caitlyn with the mm -hmm. caption, what is this phenotype? Nickelodeon and its consequences. Yeah. To which Caitlyn politely responded, oh, hey, that's me. I just love my job and want to make people smile, which wound up gaining over 30 million views. Wow. Her humble response led to favor from the media, as well as a shout out from an Instagram page called Quentin Quarantino, with the post gaining almost 70,000 likes. That's a lot of Caitlin likes. Caitlyn explained how much the hate had helped her grow. Couple days ago a troll posted one of my pop-up videos in the hopes of tearing me down and spreading negativity but it backfired in the best way possible we were flooded with orders we had our best sales day ever we grew thousands of followers and just got so much positive feedback comments and messages although with a bigger instagram following caitlin faced another problem while tiktok automatically filters hateful comments instagram isn't quite so generous and as a result her posts filled with nothing but a lot of what are the posts here bro built to survive a car accident this uh, bro, look at this look at this this is there's no way the person that posted this ha has gone through puberty look at it these are all pictures of like this is some random just some random skinny white kid do you really need to go and talk shit do you really need to do that like because if all of all the people like just settle down nothing but brutal insults. In the process, Caitlyn cultivated the world's most dedicated hater, Anonymous51782, uh -oh. who went through all of her old posts to write negative comments on all of them. Caitlyn oh, so he has a mental illness. Yeah, I've dealt with these people. People do this to me too. Uh, it's actually pretty common that content creators have people like this happen. Like, yeah, I've had tons of people do this to me. Caitlyn's haters also developed a whole new style of comment, simply yeah. writing hate from followed by their place. There was hate from Epstein's Island, hate from St. Jude's funny. Children's Hospital, hate from the front lines of Ukraine, and hate from the cartels. But more simply, uh -oh. there was hate from Australia, which gained the attention of the Yo Mama's House podcast. This is one of the biggest ones that goes, people just write hate. <laughs> Hate from Australia. Hey, <laughs> we're on the other side of the world. Just want you to know that I hate you. <laughs> In a 13-minute video talking about the hate, Tom Segura pointed out that the comments were getting more likes than she had followers. Ignore all the positive comments. <laughs> 70,000 likes. I don't know. And man. she doesn't have like a million followers. I just like, what I find to be so crazy is it's like a bunch of middle-aged men. Are we all pretending here? Like, we've got to be pretending, right? That this is a shock that a bunch of kids... Hello, hi, hi, Cassie. Oh, with the new model. Yeah, congratulations on that. It's like, is it a bunch of dudes that are, like, pretending, like, why would they make fun of this fat girl? Why would they possibly do this? What, what could possibly be doing? I guarantee you, whenever they were in middle school, the funniest fucking thing, the thing they laughed at the most was never the fat kid fell down the stairs. That's a hundred percent what it was. They're probably worse. But we gotta go and sit and act like that's not what we were doing? Come on. This is a 
meager. It's obvious account. what's going on. Yeah, this is a bunch I mean, of kids. It has like forty thousand, which is not nothing for sure. Although yeah. it'd be also through this video that Caitlyn's following quadrupled, which she'd capitalize on in a pretty clever way by launching a Hey from Australia coffee blend. Talk about turning lemonade from lemons. Brilliant marketing move. As a result, Caitlyn became a guest on the podcast. So we got your mom shows coffee, uh, and then the Hate from Australia, which is actually <laughs> Australian coffee. So nice this blend. Is? And when given the chance to slam her competition, she'd instead do the opposite. I've gotcha. heard a lot of coffee enthusiasts say that Starbucks is crap. What's your take on that? We owe a lot of third wave coffee success to Starbucks, so no animosity there. They started the third wave coffee movement. Without them, local roasters like me wouldn't exist. Caitlin then expanded on her strategy for dealing with hate. I know who I am as a yeah. person. I'm, I'm very confident in who I am. I have a great support system. That's awesome. Uh, very close circle of people, and they can call That's me That's the way beat. I feel like. People call me, make fun of me for shit. It's like, you think I don't know I'm bald? You think I don't know that I have a weird looking face? Like, I have a fucking mirror. You think you're the first person to tell me that? What? Bro, I knew this for a bit. What are you talking about? Yes, and they're more than allowed to. And if you're not in my close circle, I don't really care about your opinion. Such that a good, Fuck them. good way. After which Shane yeah. Tom filmed a classic TikTok workout. And with comments such as, Tom Segura bought me here and you're now my favorite person. It seemed her appearance on the podcast had made a significant impact. Caitlin's therefore become so popular she's had to reject certain coffee events. We are getting emails. They're like, oh, we want to come here. We want to come here. We're like, absolutely not. Yeah. We are taking the year off, the rest of the year off. With her social media journey being best summarized by the following comment. Words cannot express how much love I have for all the hate you've gotten. Look what happens when you're a good sport and roll with the punches while staying true to your original mission. So happy for you. You know what's kind of crazy about this? This is is that this person is doing what Jesus would say to do. Because everybody always likes to talk about how they're a Christian and then they're smoking crack. But it's actually kind of crazy that this person genuinely is doing what the scripture says she should have gone into the fucking uh the i don't know being a nun or a pastor or whatever the ministry yeah the ministry she should have done it i mean that's leading by example it's incredible i i think this is such a a great story of resilience it really is and there's nothing that makes losers more mad than realizing that Everything that they say and everything that they do not only doesn't matter, but works against them. And I think that's what really makes a lot of those people mauled is they see a person like this. And it's like, the, and, and also, by the way, the average age of these commenters, listen, 13 or 14. Like, I'm sorry, but like, this is, I, I, I refuse to acknowledge that this is going to be uh, like these posts, the majority of the likes, I mean, this is two likes, but like the ones that have like 30,000 30, likes and shit like that, 16,000 likes. Like, I think these are 100% coming from at least teenagers and I would probably say underage teenagers. I think that if you made the law to where like kids couldn't have a fucking social media account, none of these posts would have existed. None of these posts. It's a, yeah, it, this is, again, another argument of why kids should not be on social media. You look at this kind of shit. Profile picture was a family photo. Yeah, this is fifth grade photo. Uh, Grownups are super toxic. Fuck you mean? They are, but, like, kids are toxic in, like, a different way. So it's not just young people. It's very self-esteem chunks. I think that no, no, no. I mean, and you're right. You're right. It is older people as well. But the truth is that I think that a lot of people just don't like this type of mindset that like kids have just being shitty right talking talking shit being obnoxious everything like that especially whenever it's by a bunch of fucking losers that's the thing is like you got you see a lot of these people posting pictures and, and like i mean look they're ugly as fuck like they look like like weirdos too like what do you you really get to sit here and talk shit you of all the people that talk shit, it really doesn't need to be from you. Adults toxic, but on point. Kids are just toxic, pure stupidity. Yeah, this is just stupid. 
And so I would say that's really what we're going into. He not saying the adults wouldn't do it, saying children out of the picture wouldn't help. Yeah, it would. And it, I think it would reduce like the majority of this. Is it the same as kids on a street corner shouting abuse? Yeah, yeah. Like I used to do that once a kid. Like I was on the bus and like, I, you know, we would drive by somebody. I'd scream at him. Like, yeah. And like, would I do that now? Like, no, I would not do that now. But uh, as a kid, I thought it was the funniest fucking thing I could possibly do. I 100% did that. Yeah. And so like little kids and like the funny thing is that it shows that having a winning personality matters more than anything else because she's way more successful. She's, you know, like making money, people like her. And it's crazy because like there's a lot of guys and like you are going to get people like this that are negative and they, they have it's like the red pill stuff. But like if you're a good person and you're delivering a service and a product that people want to see, then people are going to be there for it no matter what. But let's not be uh, let's not be naive here. You're playing on hard mode. You are. She played it on hard mode and she won the game. Congratulations. That's incredible. It is.